The cities of Idaho Falls and Ammon are moving toward agreement now over hit road. Especially since tomorrow the public will be given their input on the construction designs. Local News 8's Bree Clark is live in Monroe County at Hit Road and Sunnyside where all this is supposed to take place. So Bree, city engineers say this intersection is really their biggest concern for city leaders right now. Well, Jay, if you take a look at this intersection right here at Sunnyside and Hit, it's not too busy, but there are times where it does get pretty bad, especially with more construction moving towards this area of town. But if you move down the street down to 17th, we all know how that looks, and City Council wants to make sure that they don't repeat that disaster. When we asked drivers months ago about what they thought about the traffic on HIT, 17th was their biggest concern. It drives me crazy when one person wants to turn and the rest of of everybody in back of them are going straight and so. But council members say they are more concerned with saving other intersections from congestion, asking city engineers to keep their focus around the sunny side intersection. The proposal is to add right turn lanes on all of the approaches and also add a second left turn lane on each of those approaches. And with construction of a new outdoor superstore called Cabela's, engineers are planning for more traffic. We'll be widening to a uh, the, the roadway going south to a full five lane roadway, two lanes each way plus a center turn lane. But to make sure all goes well, public input is needed. You know, the, the public uh, are aware of things that perhaps we're not, is basically what it comes down to. And that meeting is going to be tomorrow night at 4:30 at his at the in the cafeteria of Hillcast High School. They'll have some designs there for you, and city engineers will be ask, answering any questions that the public has, as well as taking any comments or input that they have into consideration. Live in Idaho Falls, I'm Bree Clark. All right, thanks, Bree. City Council has not abandoned efforts to fix 17th and HIT. The City of Idaho Falls says it just isn't a part of this phase for HIT advancements. The project is expected to cost $3 million or $4,000. Um, that's going to be Ammon and Idaho Falls, and they're going to try and split those costs 50-50.